Hi everybody, it is September 26, 2016. Yes, I have posted a lot of videos on the dangers of microwave frequencies being emitted from cell phone towers and cell phones and smart meters and all these gadgets that so many people walk around with. I've posted a lot of videos. Some people leave comments like, we know this. Well, I have new subscribers who may not know it. And I will keep posting on this because if ever there was a weapon of mass destruction, it's that cell phone tower that is right next to your home or your apartment or it's right on school grounds where your children are going to school or it's in the parking lots of, of your malls and supermarkets and it's all over the place. These frequencies are incredibly dangerous. And I have a lot of subscribers now struggling on a daily basis just to get through. I still am. And yeah, I finally got away from the cell tower that was right directly outside my apartment building. But I came upon a cell tower that was hidden by trees. And the woman that I'm living with showed it to me. And it's not, it's like only maybe a quarter of a, or a half a mile away. This thing is huge and it has instruments on it that I've never seen before. I have a Gwen Tower about a mile and a half away. Gwen Towers are really dangerous ground-based frequencies. And the woman that I'm living with experiences actually feeling the ground vibrating. Right next to that Gwen Tower is a huge antenna because the fire station is there and it also has a cell phone tower with a whole lot of instruments on it. We're saturated in these frequencies. Dangerous to all life. And as you read through this article, you will read that studies have shown that these frequencies, microwave frequencies, are linked to autism, infertility, infertility. Why do they have cell phone towers right on school grounds? Well, many of you know that we do have a depopulation agenda going on. So many people just roll their eyes at that, but it is absolutely true. So they're causing infertility in children. Just putting these cell phone towers right on school grounds. But it lowers the immune system, rendering the human body vulnerable to all types of diseases and illnesses and syndromes. It alters hormonal levels, causes chronic physical pain, damages DNA, despite what the American Cancer Institute claims on their website that it doesn't, it does. The American Cancer Institute is lying. Cancer is an industry, a profitable industry, raking in billions. So they don't want people to get healthy. They make money from people getting sick with cancer. World Health Organization has acknowledged that these frequencies are a carcinogen Many studies have, have shown that these frequencies are a possible carcinogen. I, I, it's really profoundly disturbing that this is what life has become now, being saturated in so many different toxins. You know, our environment is just one big toxic soup that we all now are trying to survive. I, it, to me, that, that really is pretty shocking and very shocking that we have so many people refusing to acknowledge this. And they're walking around with their cell phones attached to their ears, you know, talking in supermarkets. And uh, I, I mean, how do we stop this? Well. Unfortunately, the only way is to get more people 
educated about how dangerous the frequencies are. And until that day comes, more and more, more and more of us will be coming sick. More and more will be crossing that line from not really feeling anything to becoming electrically magnetically sensitive and then you'll be having difficulty having difficulty talking as I am I'm not going to read the whole thing I will link to it and I do hope that you share it because it is an important article but let me just start with with what they say here this presentation will outline how a sinister globalist agenda is using the incredibly powerful telecom industry as yet another weapons of mass destruction from mass mind control, soft kill eugenics, and when deemed most advantageous, a convenient fast kill, genocidal method for culling the human herd with cell phone towers and cell phones and smart meters. For the last couple of decades, countless scientific studies have been warning us of the serious damage being done to our brains and bodies as a consequence of our excessive cell phone habits. The radiation literally fries our neurons, alters our DNA with fractured strand breaks, and causes rising rates of brain cancer, tumors, and associated other life-threatening diseases. A new study from the British Medical Journal led by Enrique Navarro concludes that living near cell towers inhibits brain functioning, diminishes memory, disrupts the normal sleep cycle, and causes widespread irritability. And an analytical review of all research conducted a half dozen years ago determined that 80% of all studies have determined that a direct correlation does exist between tower proximity and adverse symptoms, tumors, and cancer. And now I'm going to just jump down to this paragraph. In view of thousands of towers built next to or even on school grounds, a growing body of research on children and pregnant mothers is also producing extremely alarming results. Many public schools and universities are also being given cash bribes incentives to permit towers on their premises. Though some local parent and community advocacy groups are beginning to fight back, Many education officials are choosing money over their own young people's health and well-being. Meanwhile, it's been shown that children absorb twice as much cell phone and tower radiation in the brain, up to three times in the hypothalamus and hippocampus regions, and their blood-brain barrier leaks at the smallest traces of radiation. And incredibly, kids' bone marrow takes in 10 times the amount of harmful RF waves as adults. Spiked rates of electromagnetic pollution and its devastating harmful effects on human health is a pandemic train wreck currently exploding across the USA and the entire world and as a direct consequence of chronic indiscriminate use over the last 25 years, rare forms of brain cancer are now beginning to skyrocket. Predatory Predatory telecom giants and bribed governments are exploiting the fact that this weapon of mass destruction cannot be felt as an odorless, tasteless, silent, invisible killer. All of this is bad enough news, dumbing down citizens and making us ill at national levels, but it's just now becoming more widely known that a far, far more diabolical plan is presently in place that is zapping Americans with deadlier levels of radiation from cell towers than before. I have said numerous times that they have increased the frequencies. Now, we see the increase of cell towers going up. That's an increase of radiation that's 
dangerous in itself, but they have been raising these frequencies. And I think many of you would agree that the buzzing gets louder, the high-pitched tones are different um, that you're hearing, and suffering these, uh, this chronic physical pain, never letting up, getting what I call a frequency flu, where suddenly you are so sick you can't move for a day or two, and it hits you, the onset is so immediate, but it's not a flu because you recover so quickly. All of this is coming from microwave frequencies. But the most appalling realization is these dangerously higher levels of radiation emanating from weaponized cell towers have absolutely nothing to do with cell phone transmission, but everything to do with democide. They prove, by the way, democide is a country killing its own people. Genocide is a country killing other people. So we got democide going on here, right here in the United States. They prove that the United States government has shifted its soft kill eugenics plan to a faster hard boil roast of the American population. A former senior scientist from DARPA, the US deep state black ops research lab that channels all advanced technologies into military weapons of mass destruction, recently went public alerting fellow Americans that the federal government is misusing lethal cell tower transmissions as an act of terrorism against the United States population. With a PhD from Princeton in computational physics and nearly three years at the DARPA Los Alamos, Alamos National Laboratory, Dr. Paul Bacho, I'm sorry, really bad with pronouncing names, but Dr. Paul Bacho is a more than credible source who knows what he's talking about. When he first began noticing high-powered radiation radiating from cell towers in his home in St. Petersburg, and surrounding areas of Central Florida and Tampa, he followed standard protocol contacting his previous employer, DARPA, along with Department of Homeland Security, informing them that he believes that the cell towers present present a terrorist threat. After his repeated attempts to alert authorities drew no response, he contacted longtime activist writer Dave Hodges of the Common Sense Show. The scientist has written, this is what that doctor wrote, these transmissions will cause harmful health effects in the form of enhanced microwave radiation illness. It is imperative that these frequency bands be measured and verified by an official source. These frequency bands do not exist naturally and there is a technology targeting individuals. The verified measurement and existence of these radio frequency band transmissions constitute a terrorist act. The FCC officially limits cell towers to 400 watts of energy output for cell phone data trans transfer. However, it's been reported that mammoth-sized cables leading into a typical cell phone tower is capable of emitting far greater power, especially when equipped with amplifiers. This makes the enormous level of microwave radiation each tower can project a potential mega death weapon. And this is the alarm that that doctor was railing against. The death ray machine that each tower represents can generate enough juice to literally cook every human within its city limits. So if the elitist power brokers in control plant these weapons of mass destruction strategically and so densely across America, happen, if they happen to desire the US population dead or perhaps under the guise of an invading foreign enemy on American soil, these tower transmitters could conceivably eliminate the entire living population with several million towers at full wattage throttle. The link is below. 
You can also read in this article how the FDA, or the FDA, the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, the governmental agency that regulates the telecommunications industry, has purposefully maintained dangerously high tolerance for the specific absorption rate. It's a radiation level standard that's literally killing people. Paid off with bribes by the largest telecom giants. Money means everything in this country. Sorry to say that, but even for most just ordinary Americans, money is everything. We've got to somehow manifest a healthier society. How do we do that? We have to wake up more people. Unfortunately, these frequencies are really dumbing an awful lot of people down. And listen, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling my brain slowed. I'm, my memory is absolutely affected. A lot of what is written in this, you know, when they talk about the normal sleep cycle, forget about it. Irritable? Absolutely. But brain functioning? That it inhibits the brain functioning? I bet a whole lot of you are experiencing that. And I'd love to hear how you're all feeling. So please drop a comment below. Most importantly, please share this article. Thanks, guys.